So I'm back. Alright, so I'm back and I'm going to try this thing one more time now. I got some clips. I got three packs of rollers. Okay, listen, not running out this time. And I'm about to get this party started. These are the um, two different packs. One, the red ones are a little bit smaller than the purple. Um, two different sizes just in case. So I'm starting off with freshly washed hair yet again i did go in and rewash my hair and i washed it twice it's super squeaky clean and it's really wet um because i ain't got time another thing is that i made sure to part small like a smaller section um, i believe the section is like two inches long and then like a half of inch wide if that makes sense i think that's how i did it because I just want to make sure that my hair stays on the roller. In the last video, my hair was all over the place. So I'm going in with my usual products, the FOG um, green tea and keratin reconstructorizer, along with the Tresemme heat tamer, heat protecting spray. I'm just spray that all on top of each other and brush it out. So I am parting this section into, I want to say three or four smaller parts. And this is what I mean when I said that I, I made the section uh, two inches in the length. And then like I used my pointy finger just to make sure that the section didn't go over like a full inch in width. Um, so I'm adding the foam, the motions, um, actually I think it's olive oil wrap foam. And um, as you can see, I'm adding the foam after I have already made the smaller section. That's very important because it's just easier to comb out that way. I'm going over with my brush and then I'm gonna follow up with my rat tail comb. And I also have another smaller comb with tinier teeth. I use both of those combs interchangeably while doing this just to make sure I get all of the kinks out. Now I'm going to assemble the magnetic roller on my tresses by just wrapping my hair around the roller and I'm stretching my hair out at its full length going like away from my face and then I'm pulling it tightly outward and rolling it tightly inward to my head. Um, I don't know y'all, I, I made this one look really easy. Um, I don't think it's a hard thing to do, it's just you gotta be really focused. <laughs> so yeah, I'm using the clips to pin down my uh, roller and keep it in place, and I'm moving on to the next one. So I did have to keep spritzing my hair, um, like the section that I'm working with, uh, with water, because my hair dries out so quickly and I just need my hair to be soaked so that it can fully um, grasp the, uh, the roller. Another thing is that uh, my hair, it's not the thickest, but it is quite thick um, in general. And um, it, there's a lot of combing that needed to be done because I felt like my hair kept trying to shrink back and kind of tangle up. So that's really important to make sure you comb it. There's the little teeth comb um just comb it excessively if you have um thicker hair uh just to make sure that you get it as straight as possible before you put it on the roller and i'm just repeating this step again trying to wrap it as tight as possible oh i'm sorry y'all forgive me so this is not really a tutorial per se this is just me showing y'all how i did this um, of course, I'm new to this roller set thing. I've always wanted to try it and um, it did not come out the way I wanted it to come out and you guys will see why. Um, but I think that it's because my parts, even though I went smaller on the parts, I think that I need to go even smaller and maybe use um, 
bigger rollers so that I can stretch out my hair more because my roots are just really thick and I found that the ends of my hair straighten out pretty good but the 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 roots were just ridiculous <laughs> so I'll just show y'all how I did it y'all I might do this style again I don't know it's a lot of work but keep watching So I saw on another video where someone used the clips to like clip the middle part of the rollers as well. So that's what I'm doing and it kind of makes it, uh, makes the rollers feel more secure. So I told y'all that my hair <laughs> dries really fast. I had not even sat underneath the dryer yet, and this is how my hair looks. <laughs> so I did go ahead and still sit underneath the dryer, but again, this is probably why I would use um, larger rollers and smaller parts next time. I sat underneath the dryer for about two hours just because I wanted to make sure that my hair was dry. And this is what it's looking like. I'm going to go ahead and start taking them out so y'all can see. Y'all, this curl showed so much promise. I really thought I was working with something for real. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I really, I liked, I liked the roller set because it makes me feel like it's so nostalgic. Like you got the crispy ends and your your um, house is smelling like crisp, burnt hair. I just love it, y'all. It's so nostalgic for me. But this is how it came out. I'm looking like the 1950s. My um, roots are very textured, which honestly, I love to see it, but not when I'm trying to go for like a straight look. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So in my head, I thought that maybe if I just did like a silk wrap that my hair would just flatten up some. So I just added some of the um, Chi Silk Infusion Heat Protectant Serum. Um, all over my hair and I'm just about to kind of finger detangle Yeah, so it's definitely giving James Brown. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I listen. The ends, I like the body and I like the very ends, but the roots are just so thick. So I'm just combing the ends. I didn't put the comb all the way to my roots because I couldn't get to them. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to wrap my hair as tight as possible. And then I'm going in with some saran wrap because I think that's what they use. <laughs> like, and uh, I'm just trying my best to wrap my hair as tight as possible. But my, my roots were so thick, they just were not having it. So I'm just sitting under the dryer for about 10 minutes and then I um, removed the wrap. Yeah, what did I think was going to happen? I honestly thought that the dryer was going to do like a magic trick and my hair was just going to fall down. Like, you know, you see those silk wrap videos where the hair just falls out of the uh, saran wrap all straight and silky. That was not my story, y'all. Look at me. 
Look at me. I got a beehive on my head, and it was stiff too. So one thing is that um, my hair, despite my roots being really thick, my roots were very soft. And um, I still had a nice little shine to my hair. So I was like, okay, okay. I might just be able to flat iron this real quick. Yo, this is hilarious. All right. This, this is how my roller set came out. Like, I can't even get my fingers through my roots. They are so thick. Like, <laughs> can you even get to the part? Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I'm going to see what it looks like once I run the flat iron through it. Um, it does have a nice shine to it. It smells good, of course. And it is soft. I don't know that I'll ever do another roller set. Nah. It's a lot of work. And I need someone to teach me how to do it properly. Because clearly, I... If my flat iron turns out okay, then I'll put it on cam. If not... Thank you so much for watching my video. <laughs> because because if it doesn't come out right, there will not be any more to this. Yes, so moral of the story is that the roller set was actually a nice prep for a beautiful flat iron. I only had to do one pass. Despite my thick roots, my hair was so soft that that's all it took. I trimmed my ends and I'm looking good. Thanks for watching.